Okay, I'm going to show you how to reduce the file sizes for YouTube videos quite quickly. Um, Handbrake is the software you want to do. Just put, just Google Handbrake. This will come up because it's quite popular. Um, as you can see, it's for Mac, uh, Windows, Ubuntu, and even down to command line. The important thing is getting the right version because uh, you get the latest version. I found it didn't work on this crappy HP laptop because it's 32-bit. Um, but obviously you've got a 32-bit download here, which is obviously not the latest version. So yeah, just do a handbrake, go to the downloads page and get the right version. Quickly install it and it looks something like this. Uh, we'll come back to that. Now uh, we'll have a look at my videos because I just want to show you the two different folders. Exactly the same videos, but as you can see, that's 534 meg. This one's 333. It's reduced the, the videos roughly by 50%. Um, I say roughly, it's probably about 40%. Um, but like, for example, let's just take this health insurance video. As you can see, it's 33, 33 meg here. And the original file, oh, the, it's 33 here and 15.7 there. So as you go through, you can see the files are reduced. Um, some of them won't reduce that much um, because they're small videos to start with but the, lot, the bigger ones seem to reduce quite a lot and to basically get get handbrake to work all you do is drag and drop um, let's just take an example off the desktop hang on right so let's just drag and drop one of these so we've got those here just pick it up, drop it in, and there you go. It already wants to save it as that file name, um, which is the same file name it's in. Here's a little tip. If you actually create another folder where these are saved, every time you do it, it will save it with the same file name, which basically means that you don't have to sit and rename everything. But once this is done, you just click Start. Um, what I do is I adjust it to 25 frames a second. Um, that's the consistency it's looking for. And when you run it, you just click start and off it goes. It's as simple as that. I won't run it here because I don't actually need this video done. But oh, all right, well, let's just start it and see what happens. So it's looking at it. Um, and now, as you see, it's starting there. The frames per second haven't caught up yet. It's trying to bring that up. It's difficult to do when we're actually running our video recording software on the top. Gives you the time remaining, elapsed time, etc. Very straightforward, very simple. No point really doing it on this screen because we're recording the screen at the same time, which slows everything down. All right, thanks for watching.